Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. Today I want to do something else than building on the ship. We will go out, take the Duchessa and find an asteroid to mine. I want to test out the auto mining feature of the autopilot mod again. And but let me update you on what I've done here so you can see that it takes more and more shape but it ah, I have taken on something that takes me hours to build good you can see I have closed up the front put in some windows I'm starting to get a bit of the interior done at least in the front here interior what you can call interior I've set up a medical bay here and still have the teleporter here. Not sure how I want to do this stuff here. I'm thinking about closing it up and then maybe setting up an airlock or something. We will have to see. I get a lot of comments about people wanting to see this, uh, this ship jump with uh, other ships attached to. I am not sure when this ship is <laughs> done in a way where we can let it jump to different places. The jump drive is already on, but again, it is big and a lot more work to do. Uh, people are concerned about uh, attaching ships with landing gears. I, again, I never had a problem with that but I don't know what the updates in the meantime have done when I started this this new world I jumped with the Duchessa and some ships attached and that worked out very very well but let's say that's a few episodes ago and a few updates ago so we we have to see how that works out we will definitely test that in some way good uh, yeah, you can see the hangar at least has a shape now. I'm starting to get onto the back side and I'm starting to figure out how I want to have the, um, the thruster section shaped. This is all, this is all kind of, it is flowing, <laughs> let us say it that way. Good. But now, Duchessa to an asteroid and we will mine a bit there. I, again, I want to test out the, the autopilot mining again and we will set that up. I'm keeping an eye on the ships. You can see that, that a lot of ships have uh, hitched a piggyback ride on the Duchessa. And I'm taking a look if they break off. I don't want to exceed the normal speed. I have a speed mod on that sets it to 500 meters per second. But with the attached ships, I will do that a bit slower. We will go and mine some nickel and platinum today. And we will see what else we can get from this um, asteroid there. This asteroid has a lot of good resources. We will need, again, we will need some platinum. I think in the future I got a lot of gold, but platinum, uh, I think I don't have a lot of it anymore. So, what I first want to bring out is this drone. This is the former welder drone, and I fitted it with some drills now and I want to this is one thing that bugs me I don't know why it does that whenever I enter a ship it don't know gives me this crooked <laughs> crooked view I don't know what what's up with that um, at the moment there's still a seat on there and all that stuff uh, later I want to make better mining drones maybe that I can use. This is just 
a test bed for that the, the mobile home base will get something better something more thought out without landing gears or with hidden landing gears. we will see good let us go and set that up we will use the <laughs> our wireless connection here <laughs> basically okay we take the autopilot block and then go and set that up it is set up to mine all the ores and I can go and edit this command and at the moment I have all the ores brought in I will remove some ores just to at the moment get it to just mine platinum that would be nice because then it just concentrates on that and we don't have to worry about everything else okay we check and save this it is set to harvest platinum you can i think also set it up to automatically get rid of the materials this is far more complicated and we will have to move into that and see what we can do let us just let us just take a look at it okay we can add a command and then we can go and say fly to ship uh, could don't know maybe yeah maybe we can just test it maybe we can just test it okay I will name this connector here that's the connector this is connector 11 and that will be named differently connector 11 will be now uh, connector let's just connector 11 is good I, I don't want to come up with a name for now and this could this is just the connector okay so I don't know how it sets that up if it goes and harvests until everything is full and then goes autopilot okay we want to oh it's still up one level okay this is this is by the way how you navigate through that thing I want to add a command I want to fly to a ship and I want it to go and target a block Default, default, block name is connector 11, check and save, uh, add a command, fly to a ship, I want you to fly to the Duchessa, let me figure that out, okay, I have figured it out. One thing, you have to be very, very specific with the wording and the setup of the whole thing here. I have to remind you about the help menu. You can get by, by punching in slash autopilot help and then you can get the topics basically and then you just add the topic you want to read about. Use that too because the commands have to be very specific you have to set it up the right way the right um, yeah basically you have to go and say okay I want this connector on the ship um, blah, 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 let me get out of here on the ship with the autopilot I want it to connect to this connector on this ship that's basically the right wording so um, I'm I have to see how it does that now I want to add the harvest command so we will go and get in there again use this program again because we can switch that here that's that's the thing 
It is L connector, B connector 11, G duchessa. That's the right wording. And that's how it puts it basically into the autopilot command. Mm. So after that, I want to have um, uh, disable set up. So it connects and then disables the disables the command otherwise it goes through there over and over and over again good thing about that is that with that we can uh, go and uh, yeah we can go and let it harvests harvest over and over and over again we will we will see how that works let me add a task to that and we will go harvest ore i want to add an ore and i want to add platinum to it so this goes to the top and then i hope it just fills everything up with that so okay it flies off it flies off by the way it needs um it needs oh don't damage it please 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 please, please. okay this is not Platinum. This is stone. So, oh, oxygen is critical. That's not good. Oh, I want to see how it mines. But we need to refill our oxygen too. <laughs> so, maybe it just mines and mines and mines. Otherwise, we will have to do that again. Oh, it started. Did it start? Yeah, it started mining. So, let us see when it stops mining. Um, the ship needs an ore detector. It has one. and Or it needs a connection to an ore detector. So that's also a thing. Let us see when it stops. You can't go in there more and more because you have a landing gear there. So maybe... It should be more careful. <laughs> Why isn't it? It's not as careful as I would like it to be. So, you can stop now. Fly back. Fly backwards. You will not be able to go d in deeper because you have the landing gear there. Um, I think it mines towards... Okay, now it stopped doing something here. It's trying to go back now. Uy, uy, uy. Okay, what are you doing now? Is it... We will get rid of this now and see what it does without the landing gear. Uh, we will have to add that later again so that we can attach it to the Duchessa. It seems to have a pattern, I have the feeling, because it, it kind of flies away and then bumps into the asteroid again and really drives through this rock here and then goes just slightly up to the left and starts to to mine there i don't know what pattern that could be but you can see that it goes to the same to the same kind of the same spot over and over but goes a bit left a bit up a bit down we would, i don't know how it does that but it works out for yeah, a computer script, it works out remarkably well. I think that's a, that's a good thing. We, we can work with that, I would say. Have multiple drones mine and get materials for us. Maybe we should use different drills. Um, I'm not too sure if it's better to set it up with non 
modded parts. It could be that the that the autopilot also is struggling with with modded parts here. Don't know. We will have to see. I will keep on working here. Come up Wednesday again. I think I will stay here for a moment and we we might work a bit more with that. Maybe we can get it to continuously mine so that we we have to say turn off at one point or something like that we will have to see good i will wait just a bit longer and see if it fills up flies back and then stops the script that's one thing i want to do um in the end now It didn't completely fill up, but as far as I see it, I'm very, very happy with that. The drills are still not full, but I'm okay with it not filling up the drills. But it did a good job of filling up, filling up, filling up, and now it should automatically disable the autopilot. Maybe it already has done that. Small grid. What is that? Oh, that is the <laughs> the other drill. Okay, do we have an autopilot block here? See, it is turned off. What we could do is we could set up... If we would know that the connectors do a good job we could fit drones to connectors have each drone have their own connector then set up a script in a way where it basically um, says unlock from your connector go mine if you're full come back to this connector connect again and so we so we could go in and say, um, yeah, we would have to start each drone up again when it comes back and if there is still something to mine. But I'm not sure if we couldn't also automate that. And you can see that it really drilled in there. It seems to try to follow a line here. It's not as clean as the, <laughs> as the nanites. But that's completely okay for me. So I will start that up in a sec and then just let it mine again. And I will go and use the miner I have here to... Ah, okay. Now we have to turn off the, the nanites because... Let me... They catch up. Um, I have a, a system set up that throws out the stone and the nanites just bring that back in. Good people, I think that's all for today. I hope you liked the episode. A bit of mining and we might want to do a bit more of it in the in the next episode just to get this this auto mining capability going and really understand it so we can use that for uh, the big ship. Do you see that? The ship is so big that we can see it from here. Nice. Good. Okay, people. See you on Wednesday, I would say.